When it comes to designing websites, the ideal situation is to have a software or an application that has all the tools that you need in order for you to design professional looking websites. Today, we're going to be taking a look at one of the features that DV released towards last year, I think. It's been out there for a while now and I'm confident enough now to talk about it because I've played around with it a lot and I know the ins and outs. So I wanna share with you today and perhaps by the end of this video, you are going to have some ideas of how you can apply the theme builder into your design workflow. Now, before you get started, if you're new to web design, please do subscribe and hit the bell notification because I release a lot of tutorials on how to design websites and also how to market your website. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button and uh, so that you get the updates. All right, so let's talk about the theme builder. So the theme builder is one of the most powerful features in Divi because it allows you to design templates which can be applied onto your website and basically it just works across your whole website. Let me show you how this feature actually works. So once you install Divi, and by the way, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, which teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All you have to do is to drop me an email or go on to funnels to income.com and send me a message that you've bought Divi using my affiliate link, and I'll be happy to give you access to my full course. It costs about $497, so it covers pretty much everything that you need to design professional looking websites. All right, so let's take a look here at Divi. So what, right now, I've already gone ahead and installed Divi. So when you hover over here on the bottom, you're going to see these options here. And here it is, Theme Builder. So this is what we need, what we're looking at. So this is, in my opinion, the most powerful feature that Divi has released. And it's going to show you, I'm going to show you how this can be used in your design workflow. All right, so at first here, it looks so basic, so simple. So over here, this is where you can build your global header. So if you wanna have a custom header on your website, all you have to do is to click here on add global header, build global header, and you can start designing your header and this header is going to be applied throughout your whole website. So we're, gonna go, we're not gonna go ahead and design this header right now. So I just wanna go through all these features, okay? So I'm gonna delete that. Over here, you can add your global body. Now this one here is very, very important because whatever you add here in your global body will have all your custom fonts which are going to be consistent throughout your whole website and also even uh, basic things like adding rounded corners onto your images. On the bottom here, we have our global footer. So this is the footer that pretty much uh, takes over and shows across your whole website. Okay, so this is the main global part. Now, when we come over here and click on this plus button, notice what happens. We are able now to create templates for all pages, home page, specific pages. So as I hover over here, you can see it shows all the pages that I have on my website and I can actually create a template for these specific pages. Now, all I have to do is to select the images, I mean the uh, pages that I need to create a template for and it will add it over here. It also does templates for child pages. And over here, we can also have templates for blog posts, blogs, and so on, or even specific posts. Now, moving on, we can also do templates for archive pages, author pages, category pages, and so on. So it doesn't really end there. Over here, we have 404 pages. Again, this is really, really powerful because if you can create a 404 page, that means your website is going to be consistent. When people go on to pages that don't exist on your website, they're going to see a custom message that you can create for them. And this allows us to do that very, very easy. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, this is you know pretty much uh, basic. It's not really going, going into a lot of depth, but you know what? This theme builder is very, very smart. And now let me explain how. If we come over here to the plugins and uh, let's take a look at all the installed plugins here. When we activate, let's say WooCommerce and also activate LearnDash, what will happen now when we go to the theme builder is we are going to now see that it's going to allow us to create templates for WooCommerce and also LearnDash. And this is very, very powerful. So if I come back over here to Divi, Theme Builder, I'm just gonna say don't restore,
But now if I click on this plus button and I scroll all the way down here, you can see we have WooCommerce shop card checkout, my account pages. We also have the product pages. And as I continue here, we can start to see courses. Now this wasn't here before. So I can actually have my course templates and make my layouts look the way I want. And this is going to make my page look really, really awesome. So it goes on even here, we have the topics, the quizzes. So it really goes into detail and uh, pulls out all the information it needs from the plugins that we add onto the theme builder. Okay, now what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to add a template onto your site. And this could be a market that you may want to take a look at because if you're a good designer and you create your own templates, you can actually sell them. In fact, I sell my own template here on Funnels to Income. So let me show you what that template looks like. But before I do that, I wanna show you what this website looks like without the template. So I'm just gonna come over here and add my URL. So right now, this is the basic um, header. And if I go all the way down to the bottom, you can see we don't have a footer. So now if I come over here to Divi, Theme Builder, and I click on these two arrows to import my template, I can override my default template here, that's fine. And then I'm gonna choose my file. So my file here is in the downloads and here it is. Double click on that import the template. So just by importing the template, you are now going to have a header and a footer that applies across the whole website, just with a few clicks. So it's almost done now. Now, by the way, this template here is for sale, it's $9, but I'm just gonna show you how it pretty much works. So as you can see, I've installed it now, and it has my custom body, it has my search results page, and it also has my global header and footer. So I'm just gonna click on save changes. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open this in a new tab. So now we can see we have our custom header. Now this header now has a search. And if I scroll all the way down to the bottom here, you can see we have a footer. So this footer is very easy to customize. You can go in, change the background colors here, uh, change the icons, change the links. So now, it has all these changes. So if I go to the services page, you're going to notice the same thing. We're going to have our services page here. And if I scroll all the way down here, we're going to have our footer. And let me just do one more page. If I go to my contact and go all the way down to the bottom, again, you can see that change. Okay, that looks great. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do a quick change to my global footer so you can see how easy it is to make some updates to your website. So if I click here on that pencil icon, this now is going to take me to my builder. Now I have two versions here. This one here is disabled. So in fact, I can just delete that. I don't need the disabled one. So if I click here on my gear icon, it takes me to my background and over here I can change my background color. So I can make, I can change the color to that. I can even make it, you know, this color here. So as you can see, it's very easy for me to go in and make changes to my colors. So let's say this is the color. In fact, let's just change this a little bit, make it a dark blue. So let's say this is the color I'm gonna go with and I hit save. If I close out of this, save and exit. Now let's see what happens when I refresh this page. Now you see our footer has updated and this now applies to the whole website. So you can see how this is really powerful because you're going to be able now to design websites really fast. So as you can see, my footer now has been applied across the whole website. So any page that I go to now is going to have my footer. So same applies if I do this on, on my header, whatever changes I do on my header are going to be applied across the whole website. So this is the power of the theme builder, but it doesn't end there. What I can also do is to keep adding more. So let's say I want to add a new template here for my blog post. So I can just go to all posts, create template, and now I can go in and start designing this template. 
So with this in here, I can um, add a new, let's say I wanna add a new full width header. So let me just close this here. So I'm gonna click on this plus button, click on full width. So let's say I wanna add a full width post title. So I can hit save for now. And then I'm gonna drag this all the way to the top. Now I can go in and customize this. So if I click on this gear icon, I can go in and change the background. So let's say I want my background to be this color, but on the elements, I don't wanna show my date. And in fact, let's show the date, it's okay. But I don't want to show the featured image in there. So I just want this and let's change the text over here. So if I change this to Poppins and change the color as well, and do the same here for my meta text, all caps, and I'm gonna change this to light, change the color as well, reduce the size a little bit. So you can see here what I'm doing, I'm adding my post. So I'm gonna save this, save it one more time. Now, before I go in and show you the changes, I'm gonna close this first, save changes, and then I'm gonna go to my posts, and let's go and take a look at post one. So if I click on view, you can see now that my post one here has content in it. So it's gonna show us the title here, but of course we want to add all our information in here. So to add all our content, the way to do it is by coming over here and adding all our images and all our content in this builder. So as you can see, just using uh, quick tips, I have gone in and I've managed to create a heading for all my posts. So back over here, in fact, let's close this. Let's go back to our theme builder. If I go in and I delete it for all my posts, and then I click on save changes. So if I delete the templates here, if I go to my post page, it's going to disappear. We're not gonna have that header that we've just created for our post title. So this is the power of this theme builder. Now, what you could also do is if you come over here, you can save all your templates. So if I um, click here on export, let me show you different ways that you can export this. So you don't have to export the whole, I mean, all the templates. If I uncheck this, I can choose to export just the 404 page or just the search results page and also the default template. So as you can see here, it's really, really powerful. As you're designing your site, you can save all your templates and reuse them on other design projects. So you can, uh, as a freelance designer, for example, you can have this uh, template you know, use it on different different types of um, your web design projects. All you have to do is to go in and change your colors and your fonts. So whatever design that you do over here is going to be applied to, uh, I mean, across your whole website. And if you delete it, of course, it's not gonna work. And so let's say for some reason you want to um, get rid of this template. Well, that's easy. You can delete it uh, individually by coming over here to this trash can like that just hovering over here, and then you can just delete it like that. And also, if you wanna export this, uh, this particular one here, you can just click here, and you can export it that way. So instead of doing it the long way that I showed you before, you can just do it like that. And we also have these three little dots. Now, these three little dots here gives you even more options. So you can manage the template assignments, you can reset template assignments, duplicate the template, and so on. So these are just extra features that you have over here. Now, the really cool thing about this as well is if you click here on this eye icon, it disables that particular item. So let's say I don't want to show the header. If I click on this eye icon, it just disables the header without actually deleting it. So you can see here we have this uh, trash can. So you can either delete it completely, but maybe in some cases you don't want to do that because you've spent so much time designing it and you just want to disable it. So this is how you would disable it. You just click on this eye icon and it, it will hide it on the actual website. Same applies here with the footer. If you click on that, it'll just hide it. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna look at here is the history. So if I click here, it also tells me how I've uh, 
I mean, like how I was working on this template. So let's say I made some changes and I want to roll back to that particular time. I can just click here and this will take me to that particular change that I that I did. So this is a good feature, I mean, for the history. So as you can see, this is like its own sort of like builder within the Divi Builder. And this is what makes it really, really powerful. But when I take a look at this, the power really comes in speeding up the workflow. Before we had to go in and create these global headers and global footers, it wasn't really a good way of designing it. And it didn't give us access to design, let's say pages that come in, let's say when you add LearnDash or WooCommerce or any of those other plugins. But with this now, it gives us access to those pages and really customize them. So when you take a look at a site, you won't know if it was um, if it's running WooCommerce once you've uh, customized everything on the page. So this is the power that I'm looking at, and I think that uh, in in terms of the UI itself, this is the best out there because everything is all in one place. You've got colors to show you, you know, how, how things are going and you can drag and drop things. So you can see here, you know, if you want to drag this or duplicate it, you know, everything is done here. And if you want to make any changes to this, you can go over here to your custom body. And within that, you also have the actual builder. So let's say I want to make changes to this button here. I can just click here on this gear icon. And the normal way that we use Divi is pretty much in the, in the, in the uh, theme builder itself. So take a look at this. If I come to the link here, we also have dynamic links. So with this one here, I've actually linked it to the home page. So you can add more items here and make this page look really, really custom. Now, on the subject of the builder itself, let's say I want to add something a bit more fancy. So let's say I go to my section settings here, click on background, and I would like to add maybe an image here. So I could come over here, uh, look for my image. So let's say the image I'm gonna go with is, let's say this London Bridge. So you can see quickly, I'm going in and I'm making changes to this and this works as if I was using my, my builder. So if I change this color here to white, for example, and then I change my, my blend mode, so let's start with, let's say, soft light. And then back over here, I play around with the transparency. You can see already I've created quickly a custom 404 page just by adding that you know visual in the background. So these little things are also in the actual builder itself. So you can do it from the builder and you can build you can bring all that um, technology onto the theme builder itself. So the learning curve is not too bad. As you can see, I haven't you know done anything fancy. I've just added an image. And this is me just quickly customizing my 404 page. So once you're done with this, the only difference is once you save it, you have to close here on the top and then click on save changes. So once you hit save changes, these changes now are going to be applied to the whole website. So when someone goes to a 404 page or a page that doesn't exist on your site, they are going to see this design that we've just done. So as you can see, the Divi Builder is very, very powerful. I highly recommend that you start using it because it's gonna streamline, it's gonna make your design workflow much, much easier, much, much faster. And as I mentioned before, if you're brand new to uh, Divi and you'd like to learn how to design professional looking websites with Divi, I have a course and there's two ways you can get it. There's a 50% discount right now, or if you buy Divi, I can give you access to the Divi I mean, to the web design formula course if you buy it using my affiliate link. All right, so that's a quick overview of the theme builder. So go ahead, try it out. And if you haven't started using it, go in. Don't be afraid to, uh, to go in and start using it. Go in, create your templates and uh, utilize it in your design workflow. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.